We designed the stunts in a way that we can kind of do them as safely as possible. Mm -hmm. um, but obviously certain things will go wrong along the way. And so we, the way we did that shot was we did it into three separate shots and then stitch them together. Mm -hmm. So the first shot is like a big wide shot. We took the wall out, we throw him over and then the wire controls his path so he lands on crash mats. Mm -hmm. But then the second and third shots is we put the wall back in, the camera is locked, mm -hmm. and we just raise him up uh, one meter away, drop him onto his bum so his back can come down one side, mm -hmm. drop him onto his back so his legs can come down the other. And then, so it's then the three get like sort folded. of stitched yeah. together, blah, blah, blah. So then, yeah, his back can look like it completely crushes. Mm -hmm. um, but when we did the first shot, the big wide one, like obviously he's on a wire to control his path. And the guy's pulling the wire, when he leapt off, they pulled too hard. So instead of coming down nicely on an angle, he just went straight across and smashed the back of his head against the wall on the other side. <laughs> uh, the impact meant that they lo lost control of the wire, so they dropped and it. And then they dropped it. Yeah, and then he, <laughs> he was falling down. But because of the impact, he came down on a trajectory. So he missed all the crash mats that we put uh. up for him and landed about five meters down on concrete then. It was like a heart and mouth moment. We were all rushing outside to see how he was. I mean, we have like a paramedics team and you know, ambulance on standby, and we really needed them that day. So they came in. We got him up onto his feet eventually and then, you know, set him off and then four days later he came back and did the shot again. That's so, crazy. Yeah, but that was a hair-raising moment.